Hi guys, so we are here for the day in Zagreb, Croatia. We'll give you a little bit of a walking tour, walking around the city. Uh, we came here for the day before our flight back to America and we're gonna check it out. You can see two examples of columns, um, one which was damaged over the years just from weather and erosion and over many years because of communist time they were not taking care of uh, the religious sites in Zagreb. So you see on the right side here that in 1990 they finally underwent a full renovation of the columns which is why that one's much nicer and newer. see the cathedral here has had significant damage from the earthquake that happened this year in March of 2020. It happened right after COVID situation started um, and it caused a lot of damage. Actually one of the spires completely fell and then the other one upon recommendation of experts was taken down to be restored which you can actually see over here the one that they're rest restoring. Over here we have the stone gate which holds the shrine to the Blessed Mother. I'll show you a little bit around. Over here we have the Croatian Parliament building with gold door, interesting architecture on the top. And then right next to it, we have the Church of St. Mark's, which is probably one of the most famous sites that you'll see everybody taking photos of in Zagreb because of the good that they have on this ceiling. It's just interesting to look at and it's the oldest coat of arms located in Zagreb. out the fancy police cars part of the government building here we have the Greek tunnel and this time I will try not to be a chicken and actually go in it but this one's much clearer than the one in Ilovic it's also much darker than it actually looks on camera this was built as a bomb shelter and now they use it as like a promenade historical walking site and they also decorate it for Christmas really cute this bomb shelter has this one main central corridor and then it has six exits which are labeled with where you're going. You can kind of check it out here on the map. These tunnels even have bathrooms built into the side of it, I guess so nobody uses the bathroom in the tunnel. They're not very clean. Wow, it gets really tall in here. Oh yeah decorations from these wires on top. It is really cold in here. <laughs> Right now they're having a food and movie festival. We're gonna take a quick walk through here. Oh, look at these fun chairs that people are sitting on. Do you see them? They're like gigantic beach chairs.
Here we have the Burger Festival. This week in Zagreb, we have the Film Food Festival going on and the Burger Festival. So we just finished up a delicious dinner at the Boban restaurant, which is a famous Croatian soccer player. Uh, the food was really good, highly recommended. I wasn't sure if it was just gonna be something like you hear about it all the time because it's a celebrity restaurant and then the food's not that great or it's a tourist trap or something, but it was awesome. Definitely recommend it to everyone coming to Zagreb, Croatia. So I hope everyone enjoyed the little tour and views of our day here in Zagreb. Tomorrow is a travel day. We'll be heading back to New York and then not sure with the COVID situation when we will be traveling again, but if you stay tuned for more, hopefully there will be more travels coming soon. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content in the future. Thank you.